Hey guys, Corey with Gotta Be Mobile, and today we wanted to show you guys a couple of uh, little tricks and tips that will make typing on Android easier and quicker. Now, there's tons of third party keyboards available for Android. There's SwiftKey and Swipe, and um, just tons of different things you can choose. But a lot of people prefer the stock built in Google Keyboard, not to mention it's available on the Play Store, so you can download the Google Keyboard for any device here. I have the Galaxy S4, but it has the stock keyboard. Now, there's tons of different things you can do. Um, one of the biggest ones that was popular with Swipe is uh, typing by just sliding your finger around. So on the stock keyboard, you have to go into settings and actually enable that. But once you do, you can be very efficient and fast with typing. You can s slide through everything and just speed along. Now that's not a huge, you know, feature, but that's just one of many. So go ahead and say. And type. This is typing with speed, and obviously you just slide along, and that's a gesture typing makes it very quick. But one thing that's really cool is if you see here, there's three little dots at the bottom of speed. And if you push and hold that, this is something not a lot of people know. It gives you a huge pop-up of tons of words you could have been trying to type out while sliding, but didn't quite get it accurate or right. So when you push and hold that, it gives you tons of options, and then you just slide your finger anywhere. If it, you wanted to write dipped, you let go, and it changes it. So that's another tip little quick trick that a lot of people don't know and it's really convenient and then as you see now I have all these punctuation buttons up top punctuation is something that it's you know not the easiest thing to do while typing for the most part on a you know a smartphone but if you have um, next word suggestion enabled on the stock keyboard none of this appears but if you're writing along as soon as you finish a sentence all these appear if next word suggestion is turned off so now I'm saying this is typing with blah 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 you just hit whatever you'd like and continue on with typing it's much easier to do that than to actually, you know, hit, you know, this button down here and find the punctuation you need because it's all neatly laid up top. But if you go into the keyboard settings and actually turn off next word or turn on next word suggestion, that will no longer be there, and you'll get kind of a suggestion on what Google thinks your next word will be. So I actually disable that myself to get the punctuation back. And then speaking of settings, while you're in here, here is where everything else is. You can turn off block offensive words. That's a little tick and trick that uh, we've kind of talked about before that will enable you to curse or add certain words to your, your phone that, you know, Google kind of usually blocks the offensive words. And then in here you can enable the, uh, you know, get your typing, floating preview, and a couple things like that. And then even in advanced settings, you come in here and have it suggest contact names, double space adds the period, and a few things. And then another thing is called uh, text expansion, which is something a lot of people don't know about. If you go into your personal dictionary, and you know you can add any word you want, but if you go into add up top and uh, type in a word, for example, I always type write gotta be mobile. So type gotta be mobile, Ooh. and I want an easier way to write that while typing on my phone. Gotta be mobile. If I just set GBM as my shortcut, you can see that on screen, and hit done. Now, you can see there it is. So if I actually type GBM while writing in the keyboard, it will actually, let me clear that because I have two, it will actually write it for you. So, go back into your keyboard, and as you're typing along, if you hit GB, as I start to write GBM, it suggests the entire word, gotta be mobile on the side, and then boom, there it is, got to be mobile. It's super quick, it's easy. You can do that for email addresses, passwords, I mean anything you really want to do, you can use that and it's super quick and easy. So that's just one thing that's called text expansion. And I use it for all my all my email addresses. I cleared them all out for the video, but that's a super easy one. And another thing here, is just a couple little weird things that I didn't know. If you can see these are the three little dots here below each one of these icons. If you push and hold that, it gives you the pop-up to go directly into settings. And uh, here you can go into the Google settings or any other keyboard settings if you had multiple keyboards. Same thing if you hit over here on this, that'll give you all the punctuation. So if you wanted to enable the next word suggestion like we talked about before, which would be up here, there's a button down here that will give you all the punctuation you'd like. So it's kind of you know, it goes both ways. And another thing here is uh, when you're typing up top, whether you're putting in a password or filling out a form, down here becomes return. And if you push and hold that, you can go into, you know, a couple different things or next, which will automatically drop you your 
typing back down to this input field. So this button, if you know, depending on where you're at, will be return or previous. You can jump back to different input fields if you're filling out, you know, an address or what have you. That's something a lot of people don't know. It's really neat too. And then the last thing I wanted to show you real quick without taking too much time, you highlight everything in a message and hit the lowercase or uppercase button everything is now lowercase. You can see the gotta be mobile everything went lowercase. You tap that again everything went uppercase and uh, that's just kind of something that a lot of people didn't know that's also really kind of convenient and nifty to make typing even quicker and uh, these are just a couple of many tips and tricks. There's tons of different things, there's tons of different keyboards lots of different stuff that can make you better and faster when it comes to typing on Android but uh, this is the stock Google keyboard. Get it in the Play Store. Thanks for watching guys.